back up lock. I like to use these little locks. Down with your thumb. You jump on the trailer. Hey, Malcolm from Play High Jet Ski High here. Just wanted to go over our trailer locks. Now, you may notice some people don't use locks at all. Um, I use this lock for two reasons. One, it completely eliminates the risk of the trailer popping off the tow bar. Uh, two, I can leave it down here at the boat ramp and I don't have to worry about my trailer being stolen from my car. So you just have that latch that goes over the top. You put your lock in. Now I always use these master locks. They're a lot better of a stronger lock compared to others. It stops people from putting screwdrivers in the side here and trying to rip the lock out. Right, but when we want to take it off, you just twist it, push it, take that out. Put the jockey wheel down. Now when you're taking a trailer off, you need to squeeze this, lift it up. That detaches the latch from inside. Then we want to lock it back up. Put that underneath. Put this through the bottom hole. Put the lock back through the top. And then that stays there. And that's, no one's going to be able to get to that. No one's going to be able to hitch on. Um, when you want to reattach it, you obviously need to take your lock off. Oops. Slide that out. You want to line the ball so it's over the top of the uh, toe ball point. Toe bar over the top of the toe ball. Wind that so you can see that coming off the floor. Once it's off the floor. And we need to check that these don't have any signs of corrosion on them. Otherwise they're not going to work. Uh, they also can't be touching each other, otherwise they're not going to work. Now each prick, uh, one's for blinkers, one's for reversing lights, things like that. Okay, so they all need to work properly. I'm pretty sure it's also against the law not to travel with your d shackle on either. So you just put that in the hole there. And screw it in. Now I've dropped the trailer off the car before, it's not great, you don't want to do it, or because this clip wasn't down. So something that you should always do as a little check, just jump on the trailer, and lift that clip and put it down, and then that uh, latches are over the ball properly so it shouldn't pop off, but we have this chain there as a backup in case it does. As a backup lock, I like to use these wheel locks. Two reasons. One, they're really easy to use. And two, they stop your trailer rolling forward as well. So when you put these ones in, you just slide them in like that. Try to line it up so the red part goes in the hole. Once you've got it on, you push this up. You have to wiggle it around a little bit to fit it in the hole properly. And then that's on, it's not going anywhere. That prevents anyone from moving your trailer forward um, at all or moving it backwards too far because this is going to get blocked within this space. Now when you're working with your jockey wheel, remember it's the support for the front half of the trailer. You do not want to drop the trailer on your feet, it won't be nice. So when you're pulling the handle out, that then loosens the trailer so you should already have it locked up to the car. Twist it and you want this part to drop into there. Okay, so you need to make sure it does. You hear the clip, you feel the handle go in. Then you can start winding the, the jockey wheel up and down so it can take the pressure off the trailer and you can detach it or reattach it from the car. All right, this is the brake for a larger trailer, only commonly seen on double trailer. Um, it's more of a handbrake as well. So when you put that down, pull this back, it pulls the cables underneath the trailer tight and it holds the brakes. Now today, um, when my trailer uh, hopped a little bit and I hit the brake, you felt my tires in the trailer screech and pull up. 
Now that's because when I hit the brake, this gap here closes. And when that closes, it pulls the brake and the cables tight. And that's why the tire is screeched on the trailer. When you're reversing, you need to pop that over there and that stops the brakes from locking on as you're trying to reverse the trailer backward. When we're taking these straps on and off, you wanna have this so it's loose. You wanna pull this down with your thumb and keep it down. Make it so the elbow is all the way straight. Then once it's straight, you can put your hand behind it and pull and that will come off. In reverse, when you're putting it back on, Again, make sure the elbow is straight. From the back, you put this through the hole. You put this up here. You pull it as tight as what you possibly can. And then once you've pulled that tight, hold it there. You pull that in again with your fingers and you bend straight, bend straight, bend straight. And you let it go. Cool, then we tie off that rope so it's out of the way. Either to the rope itself or to something else. So it's not hanging on the floor when we're driving. And the strap should be tight. And that keeps the ski from bouncing around on the trailer so you don't damage the hole.